Hey, my name is Boris Semenov. I'm a member of the NAVE team. And on behalf of the NAVE team and Mark Rose from Ames Center, I will present WebGeoCalc. Uh, WebGeoCalc is a, a web interface to SPICE. Uh, it's different from all previous interfaces to SPICE, uh, which were through APIs, in that you don't need to <coughs> You don't need to write a program or a script to access SPICE data via SPICE interfaces. You do it through a web browser. Well, of course, doing it through a web browser means that it's interactive and probably limited in capabilities, but it can still be very helpful in many different ways. For example, it would allow one to do one-off computations <coughs> to check an output from some SPICE-based application or some data provided in a PDS archive, uh, geometric data provided in a PDS archive. Um, WGC uses a client-server architecture. The user only needs to have a web browser in which he loads uh, a web ca <coughs> a client uh, based on JavaScript. Uh, and that client, after all inputs were entered, sends a request through internet to a WGC server, which has access to SPICE geometry computations uh, done using the SPICE data that resides on that server. Uh, WGC uh, performs multiple kinds of computations that fall into three big categories. One is geometry calculator, which calculates something at a given time. The other one is geometric event finder, which finds um, time interval during which a particular geometric condition was met. And the last one is time converter. Pulling up the front page of WGC shows these categories and multiple calculations type Calculation types provided under them, such as state calculations, angular size calculations, searches for subpoints, and occultations. Pulling one, <coughs> pulling up one of these uh, computations, such as angular size, shows a set of menus in which users can select uh, can select kernels, uh, can specify other inputs such as time aberration corrections, uh, and after that, after clicking the calculate button at the bottom of the page, they will get echo of the input values and tabular results with the quantity that they're interested in. Uh, this would be in a scrollable window with one or more items uh, tagged with time and the <coughs> specify as specified by a particular calculation. In addition to that, they, would get, uh, they could get a plot of that quantity versus time or versus some other quantity. Similarly, for event finder calculations, uh, users would be presented with a set of menus where they specify their inputs and set of kernels that's going to be used, click calculate, and as the output, they will get a set of uh, time intervals, windows, uh, during which that geometric condition is met, and a plot which shows these intervals over the search domain. Tabular results produced by WGC can be downloaded to users' computer in Excel and comma-separated or plain text formats. Also, any plots produced by WGC can be downloaded as well. Numeric outputs from one calculation or a complete set of event finder windows from event finder calculation can be saved for reuse within WGC, which makes it very helpful. It allows one to chain calculations, look in one uh, doing one search and then using output from that search uh, in the next uh, calculation. <coughs> As of May of this year, only our group at JPL is running a WGC server, and this is a link to it. And this server has access to all of the SPICE data provided on the NAVE server, such as generic SPICE data, uh, PDS archived SPICE data, and SPICE data for operational missions. Uh, look, uh, looking at the WGC selection interface, you will see these kernel sets appearing uh, with generic kernels at the top and archived missions in the middle of the table, but also allowing manual load of any SPICE kernels provided on our server through the manual option at the bottom. Um, WGC uh, is a web application, uh, the server part of it, which runs in a Tomcat uh, web server and uh, needs to have access to a MySQL database. Uh, the prerequisites for that uh, is Java, Apache Tomcat server, and MySQL. And once that is installed on a particular machine, uh, WGC installation is fairly simple and involves only a few, uh, few steps, such as configuring <coughs> kernel database uh, properties and then uh, deploying them to the server. Uh, NAVE does not plan to distribute WGC server software to everybody, but we would uh, make it available to organizations involved in planetary exploration with significant experience in SPICE that's needed to, for, to do this configuration and with a clear need to manage their own kernels because we can, simply can't afford to satisfy requests loading everybody's kernels on our server. If you're interested, you can contact Nave um, and I will be given a demo of WGC in a later track.
Thank you very much.